Hey guys, what is going on? This is Eric from Reconvert and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add product recommendations or cross-sells to your thank you page. This is one of Reconvert's most powerful widgets and you better take advantage of it. Let's go to the video and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, so we are in the Reconvert dashboard. Let's jump into the page builder. So I'm going to show you how to add the product recommendations widgets from there. And we are in the Reconvert page builder. As you can see, it's completely empty. There is nothing here but the default Shopify thank you page. If you don't know how to handle the Reconvert page builder, there is a help video right here. You can click it and then scroll down. There's a video and some other GIFs and images. So it's going to be very easy for you to see what's going on. And if you need help, there is a live chat right here available for you 24 seven. Let's just say that I want to add the product recommendations right here. I'm going to head over to the left area click add section and I'm going to search for product recommendations. I'm going to add this and the widget is already here. By default, it's going to display recommendations by Shopify. And as you can see, it's already withdrawn all the design settings I have in my active theme in Shopify. So it already looks pretty native uh, and it looks pretty good. Uh, you can display multiple products. Now let's go over the different available options in this widget. First of all, you need to choose what products you want to display. Uh, again, by default, it's set up to display Shopify recommendations, but uh, we also have current integrations with uh, four different Shopify apps. Maybe by the time you're watching this, we even have more. So we have Wider, we have Personalized Recommendations, we have Rebuy, and we have Recomatic. And another option that you have is just to display a specific collection. Now, for each one of these integrations, if they are not installed, then you're gonna see a button to install. Uh, so if you want to learn more, uh, just check them out. Uh, with specific collection, you just need to select the collections you want in your store. So let's just say that I want to display products from the planters collection. It's now going to be displayed and everything is going to be according to that, as well as the uh, quick view settings. If they are already installed on your store, there is nothing else you need to do. The integration is completely automatic. Once we've selected what products we want to display, let's just first draw it all the way to the top. So it's going to look better right here at the top you also have an option to add exclusion tags now let's say you have multiple products and you don't for some reason uh, you want some of them not to be displayed in the recommendations you can always just use exclusion tags and then just use whatever tag you want let's say uh, reconvert so all the products with the reconvert tag uh, are not going to be displayed in the recommendation and then you just need to use this tag to tag all the products you don't want to be displayed and you're good to go but for now, I'm just going to hide this option. For me, I'm okay with all the product. And you also have an option to hide products that are already in the order. So for example, let's say that a customer already bought these small mini clay pots. Uh, I just want to hide this product recommendation and uh, just see the other product. I'm going to hide this as well. Now, the next thing is the title. By default, we're going to use the collection title, but you can check, change it here. You can use something like check out our beautiful planter and let's make it yeah, I think this is good so a few other options you have here are you can uh, either show or hide product vendors and you can show prices in drop down now what this means is basically if you have for one product different prices for different variants then it's going to display the product price in the drop down you see in this case this product have three variants and each one of them have different price so in order to indicate this to the customer uh, you can use this box now if i'm going to uncheck this now i'm just going to see the variants all right so i'm going to keep this one i think it's a good default state for this widget all right, and now for the layout, you can choose to either display three products per row or two products per row. Uh, by the way, in mobile view, it's on, always going to be up to two. It's never going to be more than two. Just be aware of that. And how many products you want to display. Now, take in mind that the more products you want to display, uh, the longer it's going to take for the page to load. I'm going to keep it at 12. I think it's enough. It's also not a good idea to give your customers too many options to choose from. They might get confused. Uh, you can also choose uh, the arrow color. By default, it's going to be the same as the uh, buy now button. Another thing you can do in order to boost click through rates on your winning products is to display star review ratings beneath your product recommendations. We currently integrate with five reviewed apps by the time we 
recording this video we have Lux, Stampio, Judgme, Review, and Ali Reviews. When you're watching this we might have added uh, some new integrations but this is what we have for now. Uh, in order to set it up just click here it's going to take you to the general settings part within reconvert and over there you have another video tutorial showing you how to set up the integration it's going to be right here so check it out later okay so the next thing uh, that we're going to configure are discounts you have the option to incentivize your customers to check these uh, recommendations uh, by offering them another discount and you can also offer free shipping so we have two types of discounts we have automatic discount and pre-made discount a pre-made discount is just any discount you create within your Shopify dashboard you ne just need to create it and copy it here however this is not recommended because it's going to cancel the accelerated checkout we create which we call two-step checkout um, so again it's not recommended but it's up to you you can set it up the other option is automatic discount that we generate for you and this way we can accelerate that checkout and we can also offer free shipping if we do that within automatic discount we have a few options uh, so you can either offer free shipping you can offer uh, a fixed amount per unit sold let's say that a customer take three of these uh, is going to get the same amount of discount per, for each of the units so let's say that I'm, I'm going to do five dollars per unit and i'm going to buy three of those i'm going to get each one of them for 24 and you can also decide to only apply this uh, discount for items over x amount of dollars uh, in case you know if you don't want the discount to be uh, too big you also have the option for percentages so you can do like 20% off let's say again you have the option to do it only for products over a specific price and you have the option to apply discount one time for the entire order even if the customer is going to buy five of those is only going to get the five dollars one time so these are all things you can do for now I'm just gonna keep it at percentages keep it simple and let's just do 15% off and the next thing you can do is just give the discount a name let's just make it special 15. now again the customers are not going to use this coupon but it's going to show up in the order page so it's good for you to know where this order came from and then you have the option to also uh, allow free shipping again with all the automatic discounts so we can do that and if we do that we can also give the shipping method a name so let's just give it free ship Okay, moving on to the next thing pricing we have a few options when it comes to pricing uh, this is can get a little complex so let me try to explain by default we're going to display the original compared to price from Shopify and the price including the discount so let's say that I'm giving away 15% discount um, I'm going to display the final price of the products including the discount and I'm going to compare this to the uh, compared price from Shopify if it's available that's going to convey the biggest amount of discount another option is to just display the original compared to price from Shopify and the original price from Shopify which means we're not going to display the amount including the discount I hope it makes sense if not try to reach out again I'll try to help let's say that the product compared to price is uh, $30 and then the product price in Shopify is $20 and we're giving away $10 off then we're just going to display uh, the compare at price at $20 and the actual price at $10 again guys I hope it makes sense but if you're not sure how it looks like just play with it and see that it makes sense for you and of course you can control the design and colors of your pricing this is something we take from your active theme so it should be uh, good to go but if not you can always change it up right, moving on to the next section this is the quick view button this is where you can enable the customers to click a quick view button and see some more details about each product before they're actually buying it you can uh, choose to either hide it and if you hide it there is nothing here but if you do choose to hide it you can choose the text in the quantity bigger in the quick view in case you're not using English and the button text within uh, the quick view all right so this is the quantity text and this is the button text color you can also control the colors of the button itself all right okay so moving on to the next section this is the shop now button this is where you can control 
the actual text on the button and control the background so you can control the colors and the text i'm gonna keep it the way it is because it looks kind of good and it's already designed according to my store the last thing we can control when it comes to the product recommendations is just to choose whether or not to display a view all button this is the view all button if it's hidden uh, then there are no options here but if you choose to display it you can choose the text on it uh, so let's do uh, view more products for example and you can change the design of it if this is the collection planters this button is simply going to take the customer to the planters collection if you use product recommendations it's just going to send the customer to the collections all sorted by best selling collections so that's going to take him to your best sellers okay i think we're ready to go i'm just gonna hit save and perfect so we're all set now the last thing we need to do is to show you how it looks like on a real thank you page and i'm also going to go over some analytics related to the product recommendations now all you have to do in order to view your real thank you page is just head over to any order you have on your shopify admin and make sure it's an order that went through the online checkout i'm just gonna pick this one once you're in the order just click on more actions and then view order status page that's going to take you to the actual thank you page and as you can see this is the real thank you page and here is the product recommendations widget i'm gonna play with it a little bit and show you around this is how it looks like on the quick view you can see the product description and some additional images and i'm just gonna hit buy now now in the background we generate a new draft order and send the customer directly to the payment page because we already have all the customer information so we don't need him to go through checkout again this is what we call the two-tap checkout or the accelerated checkout as you can see there is already the 15 percent off uh, that we defined during the setting process and there is a free shipping and all the customer information is already pre-filled now the only thing that we need to do is to click the complete order button and that's it that's all the customer have to do and the upsell is done the customer just completed another order because of your product recommendations widget now this is it for this video the last thing that i want to show you is just some analytics we have related to the product recommendations widget now let's head back to the reconvert dashboard in the reconvert dashboard just scroll down to the element wise data and at the bottom you're going to be able to see the product recommendations you're going to be able to see how many impressions you got how many clicks you got how many orders it generated how much revenue it generated how much conversions it got uh, the click-through rate and the conversion rate of the widget now this is a demo store so the analytics here doesn't represent the true potential of this widget your numbers should be way way higher all right this is just a store where we show out things we don't really buy anything so uh, don't count on these analytics your analytics should be better another thing is that if you scroll in the latest activity report you're going to be able to see exactly from what order which customer clicked on what product and if you completed the purchase you're going to see the value of the new purchase uh, with a link to the new order so everything is measured we make sure that you have control over everything okay guys this is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like the video if you like the app so far please make sure to leave us a review on the app store it will really make our day i'll see you on the next video all right guys thank you so much for watching you now know how to add cross sales or product recommendations to your thank you page i highly recommend take advantage of this widget now if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel we release new videos and awesome content all the time that's going to help you generate more money out of your e-commerce stores thank you for watching and have a great day